most controversial story in the last week. And I think it's going to be the most controversial story. And the biggest news for a while in the security space is an exploit about a thing called Log4j or Logforge, depending on if you're right or wrong. John's going to talk about it a bit next in today's Not So Critical Update. So the log4j flaw, or I believe also known as log4shell um, exploit, is it has been it's been all over the news. If you are in cybersecurity or even working in technology, IT, you've heard of this, and it's 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 very scary. Basically, um, a logging mechanism. In for Java, a very, very, very popular logging mechanism in uh, or for the programming language Java um, that runs on pretty much everywhere. Uh, you've touched it. If you've used the web, this has logged some stuff for you without you ever you know, knowing it. Um, it has a fatal flaw that um, we're going to talk about now. So yeah. um, basically, it allows you, it acts, the, the, the scary thing here is that there's no bug, right? It's, it's as the, this article says, it's a flaw in the design of this, um, of this logger. It yeah. allows you to send through, uh, it, it allows you to send, send through uh, potentially, co potential code to be run on a system that is logging uh, requests or events um, like Apache, for example, and hackers can use that to potentially gain access to various systems. Now, these types of reverse shells or, or um, these types of attacks are fairly common. What's not common is when it is against millions of um, fairly large you know, industries, companies, this thing is everywhere. And the worst of part, yeah, yeah. The worst, worst part is that uh, the Log4j2, the, the new and improved, I believe, um, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Can't even really call it a program, but I guess it is. is component. Yeah, component. Is also, you know, new vulnerabilities or, or, or flaws are like coming out daily. Like I just saw like three new yeah. log for J two, uh, flaws have been found. Yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. And wakes up angry. J yeah. on it, it's, uh, mate, this is just up. This, unbelievable. This whole thing. This one's my favorite. I love it. Zoom out. Can you zoom out a little bit? So the bottom part of it, no, is that's, that's well. the bottom of there it. I could find a better picture. But. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, that's good. That's good. This is it. So where you can then like angrily check your yeah. phone because you're sit in bed. You know, I woke up after Log4j, the, or the day it, it dropped a few, you know, what four or five days ago from from today, from when you guys were, from when we're recording it. Um, I didn't realize how big of a deal it was. Started looking yeah. into it some more, and then kind of like red alarms started going off in my head, and yeah. had to kind of put a code red out at work. We had to do a full review and GitHub. We had to do, you know, it's just such a mess. Um, There's the thing is one of those stories. It's one of those security issues where where you kind of go, oh, that sucks. Oh wait, hang on, that, that's really bad. Oh, hang on, whoa, that's really bad. And then you you hear it more, and then you you kind of think, yeah, that's really terrible. And then you really you you understand another layer at which how bad it is. And then, and then another kind of, I mean, this is like epic. It couldn't really be any worse. I read about that um, 3 billion devices are running Java. That's just the devices. It's not even the software that's running on them. <laughs> so log, and, and the thing about logging, right, is it's such a fundamental part of any kind of software system. It's done at right. every, every part, every level on the, on the top, way back to right at the bottom. And Log4j is the single most popular logging package for Java, which so it's used everywhere. And it has, so 
it's really, really, really bad. Okay, but how and bad it's so is it difficult really? To get rid of it, really. Do you know what? So, Here's the next. Yeah, sorry. Go on. I was gonna say to give you a, an accurate comparison, it is on the level of like Heartbleed or um, a couple other like big names that I'm totally blanking on that we all know. You. But I'm again. I love. I love you, Virus, Melissa. Yeah. Literally, like we're talking about that. a a problem on Omega Epic proportions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where yeah, golden, like potentially worst of all time. Yeah, yeah. Um, possibly in the top ten. Let's let's put it there. Like, it's it's going to be in the hall of. It's going to be in the hall of shame. Like I get really excited about this because I, every time I think about it, I'm just like, oh my god, this. Yeah, we we talk about how many devices are on. That is just epic and bad enough in itself. Yeah, right. And then. You realize how easy it is to e exploit, because um, the thing is, what well, the the way it works is that the logging mechanism takes data and it's meant to log it to a place so that you can access it later, and that's used for diagnosis and uh, reports and you know just general shit. Let's, but what's happening is Log4j is taking this data and it's interpreting it and it's saying, okay, I'm going to do something clever with this and you can tell it what to do. So that, that's the problem. You can say, open a connection to a remote computer and download a program and install it on the local device. Like, open anything. And this logging information can come from anywhere. So when you fill in a form online and you put your name, it will log that somewhere, probably. Hey, this guy filled in a form at this point. When you uh, click a button, all this tracking stuff that that Mike is so such a huge fan of. Oh, that's essentially yes, that's logging. Example. That's that's logging in a, in in a, in a way. That's just taking data and putting it in a file system or a database somewhere. So it's not and all that. Log4j does all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. Um, but just every, everything is basically logged in every system because you need it to be logged for when there's something goes wrong. If you didn't have any logs, you wouldn't know anything about how your system is working at all. So this is um, not just computers and servers. This is potentially any IoT device. If yeah. it runs Java, yeah, and it needs a local server, so it'll most likely be running Apache, something like yeah. that, just to give you an example, Log4j is on there. Yeah. And this is not something that can be you know, the Samsung way, forcefully updated. <laughs> this has to be done. This has to be done at times, like AWS, Azure, uh, Google Cloud. All of them instantly. Obviously, they released patches for this. Yeah. Um, Although the patch didn't obviously cover everything immediately. Not everything, or yeah. it uncovered other things. You know, so it's it's a it's only the beginning, and we're going to be hearing about because why is why is Log4j such a big problem? Is because Many of these things are production servers. So imagine if I was able to gain access to where a product lives, a digital product, and now I am now able to alter that digital product. Mm -hmm. So it, it could this could be a spark to um, supply chain attacks. This could be the spark for you know go government services infrastructure shutdowns, like. What yeah. we saw with the uh, uh, what was it a few weeks ago that one company the oil was a colonial a, pipeline text? yeah exactly Th this is the this is and and the worst part is that it's so widely spread that you cannot you can't cover all the holes here with just news and 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 talking about it but this, this is isn't... already being exploited what it's it's not new. It's yeah. a vulnerability that's always existed. It was just recently revealed. Yeah, it's not even. That's, I don't even know. Is it is a vulnerability even the right term here? They coded this in. It act. It's doing what it's supposed to. It, well, kind it, of. It's yeah. acting as designed. Yeah, yeah. it should. It, well, the, the patch changes the behavior so that it sanitizes incoming data so that you can't exploit it in this way. But yes, it is a vulnerability. It, it, yeah. It's, it's it's a design flaw that it, it has has resulted in a vulnerability. Yeah. I think. Yeah. So so just to just sorry, we're not really letting Mike talk very much here today. Are we? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a whole lot to add. I just have a question. But so I was talking about yes, uh, earlier about how it gets worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. The next part is what Mike just said, which is that um, this this particular technique was 
was there was a presentation done at the yes. at the massive single biggest security conference in the world called Black Hat in 2016. 16. Yep. 2016, five years ago. So this has been possible to be exploited for all that time. And, and that means that companies and organizations like the military, uh, governments, and I don't know, uh, all these kind of super critical uh, in government, national infrastructure, they are going to not just check to see whether they're vulnerable now, but have they been running anything in the last five years that might have had Log4j on it? And if they were, what could that have led to? So probably the, the Log4j servers that were being exploited at the time, if they were, are no longer being exploited. But what could they have infected? Somebody, some from Cisco, was saying that people are going to end up having to strip their machines down to the bio, so just basically throw them out, the, the throw them in the bin, because you just can't trust it. And it's true. For, probably not for everybody, but for people like the military, there's no other option. So we're a week out from it. this story, uh, per usual, <laughs> right? I'll try and get this up like, so we're recording this Thursday, the 16th. I'll try and get this up like tomorrow, the 17th, or maybe Monday. Uh, I usually try not to drop stuff that quite this heavy on a weekend. Weekends are for fun stories, mm -hmm. um, but we'll see. So it's a week out. There's a lot of like, this, this, this is bad because of the things that could happen, but the vulnerabilities and exist are happening. For Oh, so happened. what are what has Currently. happened that is like, oh, my God, I can't believe this has already been done. So various security firms are already seeing this this flaw being exploited in the wild. Um, I don't have any like context on that statement right now. I can't just pull something up. Um, obviously, I can if I just Google it. But I know I've read that they it is actively being exploited. Um, and. I'm pretty sure I read that a POC for an exploit because it, the problem isn't the problem isn't log4j it's everything else that log4j runs alongside right so like you need a vulnerable system on top of log4j like if for example if I set up uh I don't know if I have such a um such a advanced like WAF, like web application firewall that looks for all encrypted and unencrypted connections made out and in from this server saying anything going out unsanctioned disallow. Like obviously that's log4j's is irrelevant because it doesn't matter. It's going to ingest all of that shit and might do some stuff. But then when they want to gain access to attackers, then my web application firewall is going to be like, no, you're not sending that connection back out. You're not connecting to that shell on that random control server. That's not happening. But the what, what I'm getting to is the it's it's I think it's honestly too early to tell how big of an explosion this yeah. nuclear bomb that 100%. just detonated is going to cause. Like we do yeah. not know the size of the mushroom cloud. I, I, I think it's sense. worth. I think it's worth noting that a lot of the web application firewalls are probably running log4j themselves. <laughs> right. Yes. So yeah. that was actually one of the first things. So <laughs> one of the first things I looked into was is my VPN that I run. Am, am I? Am I like? Am I also part of this problem? Luckily, I yeah. wasn't. Do you know? Do you um, one of the one of the one of the. Uh, the things that made me laugh a little bit <laughs> this week this week was um, someone suggesting on Twitter that what they could do, hey, they said, hey, it's okay if I put the log4j exploit in my password, right? Because that's not being logged anywhere, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Which I think is just delicious because yeah. that means that, yeah, you put the log4j exploit and if, if that server then ends up getting compromised because it was in your password, it's kind of their fucking fault because yeah. they uh, should not be locking your password anywhere in right. plain text. Right. <clears throat> I love it. I, yeah, I want to hear a horror story, though. Which horror story? 
A horror story. Some terrible thing. Oh, oh so here we go. Okay, I, so I got one here. Well, it was discovered um, in Minecraft on a, just, on a production Minecraft. Yes, yes, server. it was. Yeah. I mean, this so is a. It, it was. It, it, which runs Java? Yeah, which runs Java, of course. Um, the, the big story is the kind of the log for shell thing, which is the easily put together package of um, of uh, taking advantage of this this hole. Um, so log for shell is a way of opening what's called a remote shell which is where you get full access to a machine via a tunnel. Um, and it's kind of way of tunneling through and then op remotely opens a shell to your location. Um, and log for shell is just a way that it put all the pieces together and made it super simple to do. And it blew up on like a, a week ago. And since then, it kind of highlighted the vulnerability that had been around for five years. And yeah. Um, and but yes, there's been a lot of uh, stories that I've heard about active actively being exploited for ransomware. I think uh, Revil are on the rise, um, R Evil. We should be saying Logforge and R Evil, but whatever. Um, I think, oh God, I'm trying to think. It, it's been such big news that I haven't really paid attention to the active exploits because uh, if, if they seem so ephemeral. But Is um, this why you asked the other day about uh, your favorite shell, what everybody's favorite shell is? Yes, I asked on our company Slack, what's your favorite shell? Is it, is it Bash, TCSH, or log for shell <laughs> <laughs> or, or other? <clears throat> yeah, or other. And, and it was 4% of log for shell. <laughs> and other was like 2%. Well, did, what, yeah. was the, what was the winner? I was like Basson. Yes. Oh, yeah. I, I shared that oh, I have a really nice. nice wind resistant shell that I use for skiing from North Face. Uh, that did not get any yeah. votes. Oh yeah, that's really good. That I like did. this shell. I like my my shell that I have on my phone. It's mm -hmm. Yeah, I grabbed it. Um, oh, there's a lot of shells. Did you guys see? Um, I watched uh, the South Park movie last night. Yeah, it was so and good. There was a very good joke in there about the guy who didn't get vaccinated because he was afraid that the people who uh, were creating the vaccine uh, in the factory he oh, heard yeah, that there was some so cross contamination. Funny. Uh, he was allergic to shellfish, and uh, he heard that in the factory that they may be some cross contamination, and that the people making the vaccine would infect it with their shellfishness. And um, so, basically, he was, you know, not not getting the vaccine. Not vaccinated of, for like twenty years. Also, the shellfishness. So oh yeah, yeah, it was like yeah. spoilers. They're all grown up. Um, Anyway. anyway, so I found some stuff <laughs> from the Hacker News, uh, basically talking about you know hackers begin exploiting second log4j vulnerability yeah. as third flaw in oh, yeah, yeah. Um So this is coming from like Cloudflare. This is coming from the Microsoft Threat Intelligence Center. Um, they are you know they're seeing it basically everywhere. Just any and all attackers are utilizing log4j to and, like, you know what why wouldn't they service attack yeah exactly it's it's a free for all out there it's a, it's a it's a buffet basically all right all right yeah. um you know script kiddies to to advance persistent threats like uh, threat actors like this is everyone the, and anyone the one of the interesting things i saw was that i, I didn't actually put any resources on this cuz it was a little bit dry um was people going back and checking their <laughs> checking their logs, ironically, for historical evidence that this was being at, you know, taken advantage of mm. in the past. And there's definitely people who are seeing um, IOCs or indicators of compromise from years wow. ago. Yeah. Hmm. It's not like it's super common, but it's right. definitely been happening. So yeah, I wonder what, you know, like this is, this is the government's wet dream. Oh, yeah. You know? Well, up until now, right, now that they... Right, now it's out. Now that it's been discovered. Um, it makes me wonder what else is out there. What other, like that's what I was gonna say. So like you have clearly this has been this has been uh, yeah this has been used in the wild for a while. Yeah, yeah. As you mentioned, you know we we we've seen these vectors since the, they've been talked about and discovered for five years. Like a black hat and, cotton presentation, and it just <laughs> and it just went right under went right under everyone's noses, and we went on all happy. No, it's it's insane, and I think this is kind of like the uh, the worst of what's the what's the saying? Um, when you're hidden in plain sight, what is it? Uh, uh, security through obscurity. 
Oh yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. So here it's like obscurity is what kind of it's like uh it's it's too much there's just simply too much. You remember us talking about the open SSL uh yeah. flaw? Yeah, that was like I did 10 I, years old. I compared it to um, that as well. It's the same exact thing where like yeah. there's just too much. We have too much technology, too much things, and things yeah. are gonna go unnoticed. Well, um, I think it's yeah. I, I feel like it's sort of the cybersecurity industry going, hey guys, hey listen, pandemic, co uh, you know, end of democracy. I want to go. <laughs> I want to be part of this apocalypse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> take me down. <laughs> so let's. Uh, I want. I want to. Where. I feel like I want to put put a prediction on this. Like, when when is this? When do you think this story is going to peak? Like, is it going to get really bad over the next week, or is it something that's going to drip out over the next three months? Or wh where is this headed? Um, I don't have any. I sense. think no, no, no. So what I think we're going to see is we're going to see some like just some super. It, it'll be. It'll be really undecided. We're going to see a big company take a big hit, and similar to Kaseya, because of because of Log4j, because you know a lot of these companies, uh, when we're talking about large enterprises, they are running thousands, if not tens of thousands, of servers that all do different things, and one server connected to a network, forgotten about, running Java from 2012, you know, yeah, that's it. Like that's all that that's all it is. How and long is it going to be before we get hit with that? I think we'll probably. You know what the crazy thing is that that just like just like with all of the all of the previous like super big hacks, like this could take a year because it's up to you to patch it. And even if you do, let's say you do patch it because you're an overworked IT guy, you're like, I patched all of my Java servers. I'm good. Well, clearly not, because new flaws are coming out every day. Like, yeah. So, so they might just completely over uh, overlook the second log for J flaw, or f or fifth, or tenth, or whatever. And yeah, I, I don't, I don't know, a year, a month. And it's not just your your tech stack; it's every tech stack of every service that you're using as a you third used. party. Yeah. You use? Do you use an alerting dashboard for yeah. you know automated whatever? Or what about a uh you know a, a I don't know an iOS uh, app product logging provider that is a third party? So you know, here's an example, right? There's a there's an interview question that's commonly asked of programmers, and the <clears throat> the question is when you type in a web address into your browser and you hit return. What happens between the time that you hit return and the page getting fully loaded so that you can actually view the page? Right. And the reason it's a good interview question is because there are so many individual steps. There's the DNS request, there's the network request, there's the browser interpreting it, there's the data being sent back, there's all the different levels on the other end, the web server, the load balancer, the database, the hard drive system, the, the file caching, there's the logging in the middle, there's the network lap transport layer, there's the Anycast network for DNS. There are just so many components in this. And any one of those things could be running Log4j. Now, let's That's say you log example. into your bank and you right. type in your password. Any one of those bits, which is using Log4j, that you don't even have to be compromised on uh, like logging your password. It just has to have that system be compromised, that your password yeah. passes through, that then has a backdoor inserted into it, which is then completely like you, you might as well just be typing in plain text. Hmm. Yes. It's really starting to sound like this could be a problem that takes, you know, weeks to sort itself out. Yeah, it's going to take it's going to be a while. <laughs> I mean, maybe even a month. Maybe a month. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah um, right. But hey, 2022 is going to be so much better, guys. So much better. Yeah. I'm yeah. Really That's when the it. pandemic is going to be over. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll finish on a high note. <laughs> going going back to the to the uh, South Park uh, movie, which if you haven't seen it, is definitely worth watching. The, it's set forty years in the future when 20, and the head twenty years no, is no, it 40? It's, 40, it's forty. Oh yeah, they're all God. they're all kind of overweight forty year olds. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know where they get that kind of image from. Um, and the, it's the, the headlines are 
you don't know this by the time you know. Sorry, the headlines are: citizens rejoice, COVID is almost almost yeah. over. The end of the pandemic okay. is in sight, and then it kind of reveals that it's forty years in the future, and it's so, just a little too close to home. For anybody, I'm going to make a pact Else. with the audience. We will watch South Park on your recommendation, Peter. On your recommendation, <laughs> and I want the entire Don't audience try to and join guilt. me. As soon as Peter takes this. John's recommendation to read <laughs> Mana, or my or recommendation Marshall to watch uh, th- uh, The Social Dilemma. Social Dilemma. And, and when that happens, when Peter does those two things, ah. uh, the audience will join me in taking your recommendation to watch this movie, South Park. Beautiful. I don't know how many stickies I've written this on in, in my life so far, but I'm just writing <laughs> I mean, down. No, 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 one. don't bother writing it down. We know you're not going to do it. It's fine. I'm just saying <laughs> we're not going to watch it. You win either way here. You get, you get to, uh, to shit on me if I don't do it. And if I do do it, you're like, ah, ah you did what I wanted. <laughs> That's my clever and trap. You're, you're on yeah. to me. <laughs> God, you're such a master manipulator, Mike. <laughs> this is the problem. <clears throat> So that's why we do the nah. show. And I control all well, the Joe editing Patrick so Jam, I can make Go you say Patrick whatever Java I want. servers. Yeah, yeah. Good luck. Um, Log Forge. Log Forge. Yeah. March Forge. Okay. Yeah. Log, you'll log. Hmm. You, you just tell me when, when you want me to cut. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Now, now, now.